Safety is not interesting to people. I think it's just a tick in a box. Once you get past that, everyone has a great sigh of relief. And then they're interested in, first of all, utilisation. A lot of technology falls down when people don't use it and don't use it regularly. So over a sustained period, will patients and clinicians use this regularly? For providers, they're probably more interested in the clinicians because that's where a lot of the resistance comes from. Um, so can you engage successfully both of those parties over a period of time and have them still loving the technology? A second hurdle is outcomes. So are you actually going to be reducing whatever the outcome is for your condition. So for us, it's frequency of binging, purging, restricting, um, you know, improvement in mood over time, um, as well as we have some standardized outcome questionnaires. Are you actually moving the dial on outcomes over time? Um, that's the second kind of metric. But you don't, surprisingly, we've found that we don't need to hit that higher benchmark. Um, the utilization benchmark is much more interesting to um, to the provider groups that we've been working with. Cost effectiveness is important to be conscious of and to um, work into your proposal, specifically around time. Um, all the healthcare providers that we've worked with want to know how long are our practitioners going to spend using this? Is it saving them time or is it taking them more time? Um, and how can we um, sort of look at the benefits of the time they're spending? Um, yeah, versus what they would normally be using that time for. So being able to drill down into detail on time spent on an application is important. Um, yeah, as well as um, getting clinicians to report on efficiencies in their care and for you to understand that. So we have very concrete um, measures that we look at, um, increased um, effectiveness of um, productivity of one-on-one -on -one time with patient, identifying patient trends earlier, um, as well as uh, time saved in session that would otherwise be spent talking about what happened in between visits. So if you can chunk down um, time saving, um, that's a really big one. Um, longer term cost saving in terms of health outcome seems less of a driver of decisions, um, but hospitalization reduction or readmission reduction is a really big factor as well. To trying to capture that.